force myself at home with my snacks and my comfy clothes. Yeah. Mm. All right. Okay, so let me do this. This is, um, I don't yeah, know yeah. if this is, I don't think this is Night Elf only, but it might be. Um, uh, I didn't think it was, but I think it's heavily Night Elf flavored. There are, yeah, because there's like definitely people who are not Night Elves here. So, okay, let's do this. I'm putting, sorry, mute again. I don't know what Malfurion's going to say. Greetings, friend. An uncommon request. Alea, welcome to Bellameth. I wonder, do you have a time you have time for a small favor? Earlier today, a young Kaldore named Kalestra came to see me. She sought permission to bury a family in a barrow den. An uncommon request, but I gave her my blessing and directed her to the barrows of reverie. She looked melancholy. After she Oh, I know what this is about. After she left, it struck it struck me that she might be the last of her family still alive. If you have the time, could you check on her? Meet Kalestra in the Barrows of Reverie. Nature stands with you. Thank you, Arleia. No one should be left alone during times of grief. Hey, Chandras. Hey, hey, Taronda. Nice to see you. Okay. She has my haircut. Oh no, she has the braids underneath. She's got a little little backpack on. Calestra. Hello. Hi. Ishnu Allah. Come on. Dude! Calestra. An uncommon request. Calestra is so preoccupied with her own thoughts, it takes a few moments to notice you. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Would you... Do you have a moment? Complete quest. Farewell. Tears of Teldrassil. I have carried this weight long enough. It's finally come to put my family to rest, even if I never found my sister. Glestra wipes away tears and takes a deep breath. I must gather barrow stones to place at their final resting place, but I simply cannot carry that many stones. Maybe I ask too much of a stranger, but would you assist me? I know having someone beside me will make this more, more endurable. Follow Glestra and collect barrow stones to help. Help her memorialize her family. May the stars guide you. I have never been inside a barrow den. Oh, I have. They're terrible. They're easy to get lost in. <laughs> it has happened many times. But we'll be alright. I have never been inside a barrow den before. My sister told me that druids do not just sleep and congregate in dens. They may also be laid to rest here. This honor is also extended to the druids' immediate family. My sister loved the idea. I hope I can give her and my family the rest that they deserve. I am ready when you are. Quest. Tell Kalestra you are ready to go. Be careful. My family had gathered, gathered that day to celebrate my elder sister. She had just completed her training as a druid of the tower. We live in the village of Dolinar, oh, high in the branches of Teldrassil. We had heard war might be coming, but we never thought. We were told we had to evacuate. With the so much chaos, so much fire, even now, what I remember most was the smell. The path of Darnassus was cut off by the blaze. My sister instead led us east to the edge of the crown of Teldrassil. She had a plan. She wanted us to jump from the tree. She would use her powers of wind to keep us aloft and glide down to the shore below. But something went wrong, and we drifted along. She was struck by a burning branch, ignited her clothing, and engulfed her in flames. She lost control of her magic. We all plummeted into the sea below. I was badly hurt in the fall, but I managed to survive. The rest of my family was not so lucky. Oh, 
Over time, I eventually recovered the remains of my parents and brother. I never found my sister. Her grave is likely at the bottom of the Veiled Sea. I am listening. Good luck, friend. Sometimes I wonder if my sister might have survived the drunk of Teltrasil. Tel Tel if one could survive that fall, it would be Karaleth. Karaleth was your sister? She was a primalist and a traitor. She deserved her fate. That, that can't be true. If you don't believe me, go speak with the other primalist traitors at the Twilight Watchtower. They will tell you the truth. What brings you here? Glesha looks distraught and her hands are shaking. Is what he said true? Do you know anything about Korolith? So that Korolith was a primalist. So that Korolith was a primalist and she fell in battle. Say that Korolith was a primalist and you killed her in battle. Say you don't know anything. Remember what I said before about having the most difficult question posed to me in the game ever? You have a new one now? I have a new one. Yeah. Do I? I mean, I did kill her sister. Um, yeah. It sounds cold to say it like that, but... <laughs> what would Arleia do? To tell the truth. Let's see how it goes. Asha fell out. What? It was you? You killed her? I'm sorry. Hello. She was trying to kill me. Kalisha takes a deep breath and tries to calm herself. Thorleth, what have you done? Why? I must find out why. Okay, she doesn't seem to hold it against me. Farewell. I must speak with the Primalists. I don't understand why she would turn her back on us. Corilla saved my life at Teldrassil. I owe it to her to find the find out the truth. Alea, I realize this might be awkward. Bet. But will you help me? I can no longer bear this alone. Meet Kalestra at the Twilight Watchtower. Asha <laughs> fell out. Okay. All right. So, oh, let's see. The Mal Lothra Night Helm. So we've got a ward in here. I have been charged with watching over these former primalists as they repent for their crimes. Ask who's becoming the primalist after the war. The Primalists suffered heavy losses after, during Razgat's final campaign, and even more casually during Farak's assault on Amirdrasil. Viranoth's defection was another major blow to their numbers, causing many Primalists to switch sides. Those who remained were either captured as prisoners of war, or scattered to the winds after Farak's defeat. Malavra Nighthelm pauses in contemplation. The Primalists are defeated, but not destroyed. They will go into hiding once again, and buy their time until called upon. Do not forget, there is one incarnate still out, out there to call upon them. Yeah, I haven't forgotten. <laughs> Just me. All right, uh, Kalestra, hey. Ishnu Daldiel. Thank you for coming, Arleia. May the stars guide you. Warder Malathra has granted us permission to speak with the Primalists. They might have switched sides, but the wardens are keeping a close eye on them. Kalestra begins to look distressed. I'm going to talk to the Warden once more. The Warden more. Could you handle the Primalists? All of this about Coralith is just happening so suddenly. I feel we should gather as much information as we can. Speak to the Reformed Primalists about Coralith. Be careful. 
The Primalists can be found scattered about, tending to the flora with their storm powers. Okay, that was like I tried to talk to that one earlier, but now that makes sense. All right. Elun Adore. I want to talk to them, but I don't even know where to begin. Good luck, friend. I don't know why you think I do. I was trying to kill them. I killed a lot of them. Awkward indeed. How can I help you? Tell me what you know about Coraleth. Coraleth was one of the most powerful storm shaman among the Primalists. She leveraged her training as a druid of the Talon to master the elements more quickly and more fully than others. This is also why she was chosen to lead the initial assault on the Emerald Dream. As a former druid, she knew more about the dream and its weaknesses than anyone else. That doesn't bode well. I mean, I don't want to feel bad for killing her. I want to be justified. But I don't want to tell her sister, well, she was kind of bad. <laughs> yes, Night Elf, what is it? Tell me what you know about Coralith. Or wait, am I talking to a Night Elf that's like, yes, Night Elf? Yes. Tell me what you know about Coralith. Coralith was terrifying. The burning of Teldris will scarred her face and scorched half scorched her hair off. I heard she lost her entire family there. She was singularly consumed with anything that would bring an end to the horde. She let nothing get in her way. I mean, I get it. But the enemy of your enemy is may still be an asshole. <laughs> Often they are. I'm just trying to repair the damage my actions have caused. What do you want? Tell me what you know about Coraleth. I don't know much about her. I steered clear of Coraleth as much as possible. She hated the Horde. It's Torrin. She hated the Horde and was exceptionally hard on any Horde races within the Primalist ranks. I heard she joined the Primalists after the Alliance signed the Armistice. She had sworn vengeance on the Horde for Teldrassil, and if the Alliance would not destroy the Horde, then she would find someone who would, no matter the cost. Okay. Crunch, 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 crunch. I don't know, I enjoy the sound of the crunch of grass beneath my feet when I run. The sound of grass, I can't feel them. I running on grass. Um, if I only know only what Farak was if I only known earlier what Farak was planning, first tell me what it was an obvious <laughs> big giant flying thing of fire. Tell me what you know about Carla. I switched sides after I learned our true target in the dream was a new world tree. I don't know for sure if Coralith knew the truth, but I believe she kept I believe it was kept from her. I cannot imagine she would be willing to have been part of Assault of Amidrasil. If she had survived, she might even be standing with us here today. Hmm. That is something Ishnu Allah. What were you able to find out? Cholestra listens as you explain what what you learned. I can understand why my sister would want nothing more than the Horde destroyed. I and many others felt the same way for a time, and Coraleth always was a single-minded, was always had a single-minded focus in getting what she wanted. But I also believe she had known, had she known about Amirisil, she would have defected immediately. Evidence does suggest that. Farewell. Bones of a bygone battle. After speaking with the warden, I learned the battle of the barrier where my sister fell took place east of here, on the shores of the Onaran Plains. I understand her body was washed out to sea and was never recovered. It is possible the tide brought her remains back to shore at some point. Will you help me look for her? Each member of my family has a necklace with this distinct design. It will identify Corlett's body. I would like you to lay it to rest with the family she loved. Search the shoreline of the ancient bow of Carlet's remains. Good luck, friend. You can cover more ground if you split up. If you find her signal. 
expect the first set of remains. Oh, okay, we're gonna get more than one set. I get it. These bones have been bleached by the sun for some time. Investigate the remains. Welcome. All Second set of remains. Bones of a bygone battle. These remains bear the tattered clothing of a primalist. Investigate the remains. The deceased was much shorter and steadier than a night elf. Luckily a, likely a Volpera. Goblin or no. Okay, so I didn't get attacked by anything that time. Apparently something's supposed to attack you, but... Unidentified rem... Unidentified rem... Stop standing in my... In front of my cursor. Unidentified remains. Bones of bug That's the third set of bones. There are a few identifying marks left on these bones, but something glinting catches your eye. Investigate the remains. You find a necklace half buried in the sand. It has the same distinct markings as Kalestra's necklace. necklace. Signal Kalestra. Elune Adore. Is this the necklace you found? A shah fell off. Oh, Korileth. Kalesha looks at the remains and weeps softly. May the stars guide you. All that is left to do is to gather my sister's remains and bring them to the Baradon. Please meet me there, Alea. I could use a friend. Meet Kalesha outside the Baradon in the fields of Reverie. Be careful. Sister, you will be reunited, reunited with your family soon. You will not desecrate. Oh, shit. So Rashan still broke says you will not desecrate this den with your tr with that traitor's filth. Malfurion Stormage steps in. Let's keep calm now. Listen. I must protect the wild. Talk to Mal Malfi. This is a difficult situation. I did not realize that Kalesha's sister was Coraleth, the known primalist and traitor. You were asleep, my dude. <laughs> you missed all of that. Don't act like you were there. Oh, wait. No, he did say something. Because I actually... Well, actually, having just watched the whole um, Malfurion comes back scene yesterday again... Um... Oh. I put Matori through the party, and then I did that too. So I wanted to catch her all the way up to like 
end game. So, um, it was a long stream. And it wasn't as long as the other night, but it was a long stream. Um, and he says he that he was, uh, Sarah was allowed him to be able to see events as they happen. So he is aware oh, of what was going right. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still. Still. Uh, All right, let me talk to him. This is a difficult situation. I didn't realize that consciousness was Coralith, a known primalist and traitor. Coralith was an enemy, and there was evidence to suggest she might have switched sides later in the war, as many others did. But does that possibility exonerate her sins? Malfurion furrows his brow, brow in thought. Now, yeah, who's our other friend over here? May the winds be at your back. Coraleth was a prime. This is Rashan Stillbrook. Coraleth was a primalist and a traitor. To bury her here at a Myrdasil would spit in the face of those who lost their lives offending her against her madness. We all felt the pain Tel of Teldrassil and still bear the scars today on our hearts. That does not excuse Coraleth's actions or her betrayal. She made her choices. She must accept her consequences. The consequences. Good luck, friend. Hmm. All right, hey, hi, Cholestra. I am listening. Cholestra's on the verge of tears. They refuse to let me in. After all we we have done, they deny my sister peace. May the stars guide you. Sins of the sister. This druid is trying to convince Malfurion not to let me bury my sister here with the rest of my family. He won't even let me get a word in. Cholestra lightly clutches the straps of her backpack holding her sister's remains. I know I have... I have asked a lot of you already. Could you talk to them? Perhaps I might listen to you. Speak to Malfarian's star mage around Coralette's remain. About Coralette's. Coralette's remain. You get a toy. Be okay. careful. How might nature serve? Oh, okay. I'm going to have choices. Oh, this is a okay, difficult situation. Do I really close this with Coralette? A known primalist and traitor Coralith was an enemy, yet there is evidence to suggest that she might have switched sides here in the war, as many others did. That doesn't... That does that possibility exonerate her sins? Malfurion refuses brown thought. So here we go. Choices are, try to persuade Malfurion that Coralith should be allowed to rest within the Barrow Den. Try to persuade Malfurion that Coralith was a traitor and does not deserve to rest here. Don't try to persuade Malfurion either way and let him make his own decision. Oh, shit. If that third option was here, I was going to say, come, let, let's just put it to rest. Um, but that third option... You know what? I'm going to be doing this on another tune, and my druid would choose the third option. Um, our lay is just going to be like, let's just put you to rest now. What is that ungodly noise that someone was doing over there? All right. So let's go with... Because I do want her to be buried in the den. So while I think maybe she'll let Malfurion dip his toes into this nonsense, I, I'm all right. I'm the champion. Let's see. This will determine what Carlet's remains are laid to rest. Are you sure you wish to select this option? Oh, snap. It's one of those decisions. Yeah, this is she that's what she would do. May nature Guide your path. Kalestra, your sister Coraleth fought for the Primalists, and her actions caused pain and sorrow for us and our allies. However, she did not accept the consequences of those actions. She paid for them with her life. Coraleth could not find peace in life, but perhaps under the boughs of a world, new world tree, she may find some eternal rest. Kalestra, you may bury your sister with the rest of your family. Thank you, both of you. You have given me the peace I thought of would never come. <laughs> My brother died fighting Coraleth. Where is his peace? Where is his justice? Alea, when you have a moment, please come see me at my family's resting place. 
sorry, Ration. You all lost folks, all right? We're all dealing with <gasps> That was no easy decision to make, but I believe it was the correct one. Thank you for assisting Calestra in this matter. Despite the circumstances, let us hope that finding her sister may give her some measure of closure. May the winds be at your back. Bye, Malf. Go, go have a nice nap now. All right, what's my toy? Satchel of Stormborn Seeds. What does this do? It makes a storm clad. Okay. With flowers. Oh, that's... Oh. Oh, that's kind of sad. That's kind of really sad. What brings you here? Thank you, Arlea, for all that you have done for me. I do not dispute what Carla did or the harm that she caused, but I never knew Carla the primalist. I knew Carla the druid, who dedicated her life to the balance and harmony of nature. I know Carla the Calderai, who would have given her life to protect Teljasil and its people. I know Carla, my sister, who would take me to the docks of Rutheran village as a child and watch the ship sail by, and on the way home, buy a basket of tundra berries for me to munch on. This is the Carla that I'm worried about. Damn it. Good luck, friend.